right, y'all. Let's go get these babies hooked up right now. It's cloudy outside, but this is perfect. Let's go do it. All right, family. I got my Renergy panel in here right now. And we're going to do an unboxing, and I'm going to show you how I hook them up. Let's get right to it. All right. This is how I do it. Let's go ahead and get it cranked open. Let's put... Oh, look at that. Hey, baby. Yeah, I've been waiting on you. On the back, we got some instructions. Here's your instructions. You want to hang on to one of those. But it's very, very straightforward. So, this is it. Here's your MC4 connectors, and that's what they look like. Now, I'm going to show you how you put this in series, and I'm going to show you how to put it in parallel, like this. Okay, family, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect my whole solar array that I have outside. I'm going to disconnect that, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook these to these panels. I'm going to disconnect these from outside. It's two little clamps here. You push those in and you just pull them loose. Wait, I'm wrong side. Push those clamps in and you pull them loose. That's all to it. Now I'm not charging at all. This is my outside hookup connection. Now, as you can see, it's going straight to the Blue Eddy. Here's your two wires, your MC4 connectors right here. And here's your MC4 connectors going to the Blue Eddy. You can't mix them up because the male goes into the female just like this and it clicks into place. One, two. Now this is active. If I put this panel out the window, it's going to register and start bringing in energy here. Now I'm going to uh, run this in series with the other panel over here. Disconnect from the Blue Eddy. Now, what you're going to do to run it in a series, you have your negative cable here. You have your positive. The positive on this one is the female. I mean, the male. And the negative is the female. All you have to do is get your female from this side. Get your male from this panel here and plug them in together just like that. Now, what you're left with is a male we're going to let that down all you're left with is a male from this panel and a female from this panel now you hook that into the and that's running in series it's in a it's in a big loop going through this panel coming out going around and down and coming back into this panel here so it's a circuit that's how you run it in series. Now I'm gonna show you how to run it in parallel. You're gonna need a special set of connectors to run it in parallel. I'm gonna disconnect the cable from the blue edge. I'm gonna disconnect the cables that I ran in series with both panels. Now these cables in this panel is free. These cables on that panel are free. To run these in parallel, you will need a special set of connectors. Either you can use the Y MC4 connectors. It's going to have two female on one and two male on the other. Now on the opposite ends, you're going to have one male on the other end, two females. This end, two females, one male. So this is how that works. On this panel, we're just gonna use one set right now. On this panel, we're gonna plug in our male on the male end. Okay, so this is the positive. This is gonna be the positive Y cable. On the other panel, you bring the other male, which is the positive end. Now you have that one positive male. Now, 
you take your other set with the two males and on this panel you take the female plug it in and on this panel you take the female both of those which being the negative now you have a female which is the negative side which for both panels and now you have a male which is the positive for both panels so what we're going to do now this is running in parallel positive to positive negative to negative now we're going to plug those into the blue eddy cables positive to the male positive i mean the male into the female male into the female and there you go that is parallel now i'm going to show you another set of the exact same connectors but they look a little different okay those are the wire connectors these are the solid connectors like this they do the exact same thing two males two females one male i mean one female one male they're the exact same thing they're just hard and rigid and short i like the longer ones better because they're more flexible when you're trying to hook up a lot of panels you can also find them the more panels you have the more connectors you need so i got a four-way plug here too okay so let's go outside and hook this stuff up because i know y'all probably like what Let's go outside and do this. The only reason I was waiting, my neighbor's cutting grass again. Y'all know how that is. Let's go. Okay, so before I go out and plug these up, I see with the panels we have, we're pulling anywhere from uh, 320. It was like at 320 and 340 just a second ago. The clouds are coming over right now. There we go. Okay, the clouds are about to come over. So while the day is still clear before it rains, I'm going to hook these other two panels up so we can see what average we'll be pulling with adding on another set of panels okay family i got both of my panels upside down so i can show you a little better how i'm going to do this i'm going to run these two set in series and then i'm going to con connect them both to my parallel cables going to the blue eddy it's this simple We're going to take our positive on this panel and plug it into our negative on this panel. That's going to leave a negative on this panel and a positive on that panel. We're going to plug both of those into the connectors with the rest. Right now, this is in series. Only these two panels are in series. Now, from this series, we're going to run them parallel with the other one so we don't overvolt our Blue Eddy. Because we can only run 60 volts into the Blue Eddy. So each one of these panels are around 22.3 uh, volts. So that's gonna run with two panels. That's gonna run, uh, what is it, 44.6 volts. So that's safe. You can't go too much higher than that. So that's all we're gonna run voltage wise and we can bring in 500 watts of solar so right now we ain't even close to the 500 watts so let's get this plugged up now here's our parallel cables here our four-way parallel cables that we have this two set running in series this two set running in series and this two set running in series and each set we're going to run in parallel so that's three sets. This is four four-way plug. So we got two more plugs left. So we're just going to go ahead and plug our wires right into the four-way plug with the other two sets. I'm going to plug the male into the female set, which is over here. And I'm going to plug the female into this male set over here. That should bring in 200 more watts or close to it. So we got 200 watts here, 200 watts here, and 200 watts here. All in all, that's not gonna give us a full 600 watts 
is not it's not going to max out yet so we're going to go in here and we're going to see what we're running or see if we're going to get a code let's go all right here's our blue eddy plug going out to our whole solar array with six renergy 100 watt panels we're going to see what happens okay the sun is out and the clouds are missing so let's give it a shot and see what's going on we'll bring you in closer Okay, the sun is dipping back out. So we're gonna wait until, oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Keep on moving. Okay, the clouds are out there. We're just gonna keep watching for a minute. But right now it's kind of stabilizing around 363. I know it can give me more juice than that. As Soon as these clouds disappear, we'll see what we can get. We'll keep our eye on it. Right now, we got six panels hooked up and we're only pulling in 98 watts. This is my point exactly. This is exactly why I said, at least, I don't care if you even get a cheap gas generator, just get a gas generator for that second layer of backup. Okay, family, as you can see, it's, a, it's about to do something out here. This is South Carolina. The weather just literally turned upside down on a dime. So that's gonna have to end the test, but I hope this helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and let's talk about it. We'll go live and talk about it too. But put everything in the comment below so I know what questions to answer and what um, what I need to work on. So in the meantime, before it starts thundering and lightning, let's go ahead and put the Blue Eddy panels up because they say they're not waterproof and I don't want to keep testing that, okay? So I'm going to show you how easy it is to fold up your Blue Eddy 120 or 200 watt solar panel connection check it out it is literally this easy set them up you don't even have to kick the feet in you just this is how i do it i unplug it imagine that it's raining already i unplug my system and it's literally this quick Wind up my wire. It's raining too. Here it comes. I feel it. Tuck that in the bag. Zip it up and go. You can there's latches under here that you can lock, but I never do that anymore. So it's this easy. Let's get out of here because it's already started raining. thing that's good about the hard panels they're waterproof for sure and they can stay right outside come on honey it's about to rain on our head come on baby come on good don't Right here, family, during the storm. Oh, I almost caught it, almost caught it. I was over 400 just a second ago. I got a feeling it's gonna come back. Hold on, hold on. Come on, baby. That's right, come on. Pump out the jams. All right, 
that farm seven three i love y'all and i'm out these energy panels 120 watt energy panels they are the truth i'm telling you i'm loving them if you have another panel that you want me to try let me know if you know of another solar panel around that same price let me know so i can give it a shot all right that farm seven three i love you Turtles all over your front yard laying eggs. I know what you did. I know exactly what you did. Come over here and see if you did it. Oh no, she just started digging the hole. She didn't do it yet.